Bitcoin achieved its uh, fourth uh, halving on Friday, fourth ever, uh, checking on the price of Bitcoin. Now it is up. Uh, and joining us, Kathleen Brightman, Tezos Blockchain uh, co-founder. There's nobody that didn't know. Uh, welcome. It's good to see you, Kathleen. But there's no one that didn't know that the halving was going to occur. So I, I, I'm a little bit surprised, although there had been a little bit of a pullback, but I'm a little bit surprised that you're seeing this much uh, buying interest. One thing is for sure, though, if you are trying to buy uh, Bitcoin for these new ETFs, you can't, it's harder to buy them now, right? Yeah, I suppose so. And uh, I agree with you. It is kind of silly that um, this is a meme that's been very popular. Oh, the halving is going to make the price go up. But um, ultimately, it's a market that trades on memetics and you have to do the memes, right? Got to do that. But so if, or I'm using your numbers here. So 900 new Bitcoins used to be created at now there's 450. And how many uh, do we need for ETFs in your view? Is there an estimate for for uh, for the demand that is now being generated by everyone being involved, all the Black Rocks of the world? Yeah. So, I mean, one way of looking at it is that the amount of Bitcoin like issued in every block is its security budget. Um, it's set basically independently, independently of how much security is actually provided. So you can kind of look at it as it's set to create too much inflation until it creates too little security, um, which is kind of a you know interesting uh, flu fluke of its design. Um, what we saw over the weekend was that Bitcoin's fees rose precipitously, largely due to minting activity associated with this new project on it, Runes, um, which is basically a project bringing meme coins, um, which are really popular in Solana right now, to Bitcoin land. So um, even though the actual um, reward for minting a new Bitcoin or mining a new Bitcoin was halved, um, transaction fees were really high, miners made a lot of money. So, um, But fees tend to be cyclical in Bitcoin land, whereas um, obviously, rewards are more set in stone. Uh, so it's an interesting it's an interesting market for that reason alone. We only got about 30 seconds left, I think, Kathleen, or maybe less. But this is the first time we've had a halving where it's, it's happening at a, a, an all-time high. And it's always resulted in some pretty good momentum for the, the months after a halving. Will that happen again? Because we're already, we've already had a move with the ETFs or whatever it was. Yeah, I think it's 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 funny. It's not a large sample set of data to go on. It's only happened three times and it's happening a fourth. Definitely, there's a lot more sophisticated actors, and one would hope that uh, you know the Bitcoin market would be less susceptible to sort of these self-fulfilling prophecies or memes. But unfortunately, that it also seems to ride very heavily on momentum, and you know people are saying on the internet it's obviously a lot of retail participation in the ETF market. Um, so yeah, I, I think you know it, it'll probably go up because people think it's going to go up, but I think it should have also been accounted for <laughs> well right. ahead of time. So yeah.